Good morning there, I'm here with Mr. Wes Howard and I'm most uh, proud to be able to endorse him to you this morning. He is uh, running for Lexington County Council, Lexington County Council. and uh, he's a fine American, he's got broad shoulders just like me and I suggest that you support him. Next we have Wes Howard, you'll say a few things Wes? Come on up. Actually, actually brought some trinkets today. A trinkets? So, yes, Wes has a that bribe. I think Wes brought that. Hey, Steve. I think Wes brought me the umbrella. That's right. Oh, he brought an umbrella. All right, Wes. Uh-oh. 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 Uh-oh
You can look around at, at a couple of the uh, candidates that are running now, and please notice where those signs are located. They're located next to a lot of corporate real estate signs. And I'm not against realtors, and I'm not against real estate brokers. I have family members who indeed do that for a living and have been invited to join their companies. But there are a few small particular groups of folks that are funding these candidates because they, because they want to continue having our tax dollars come from our wallets and our children's future directly into their bank accounts. So make no mistake about it, my friends, it's taking place. That is not a vital service provided to us as citizens. Absolutely, in no way do I agree with that or if I believe it, nor will I support it. So, at the end of the day, I also, because of things like this, want to do just like every single school district in the state is legally required to do, have an online spending registry that is interactive, where you can see the receipt as the money is spent. How much of this you think would stop if they had to put the receipt for purchasing these umbrellas on the county website and you can go click on it and find out about it? Ask yourself if you know anybody that's a retiree that lives on Social Security that struggles to pay their their annual taxes on their property, and they go home and they look at this. They're going to be scratching their heads and probably picking up the phone call, the phone to make a call to somebody, and they're probably not going to be very pleasant, and I don't blame them a bit. But this is directly due to the stranglehold of the special interests and to the simple fact that a lot of them have just been there too long. I think it's an awesome thing for folks to come in with a new set of eyes, as it were. Focus on finding solutions, not making excuses. And that would sum up my tour of duty on County Council. Find solutions. Work through our problems together as a community. So often folks look to government to take care of them. Or we got a problem, let's pass this ordinance. What about picking up the phone and calling your neighbor? What about walking down the street and saying, hey man, can we talk about this and figure out a way to, to come to a resolution on this? That's called a community. That's called a neighborhood. And that's why some people choose to live in neighborhoods. Because they can have homeowners associations and come together and figure out how they want their neighborhoods to work. And that, my friends, is where the answers to some of the issues in our communities lie. It lies in our homes, which indeed is the basis of our society. And in my own opinion, an extension of our families and our homes is our small businesses. And they are what's important not the funding and the growth of our governments, especially when we see things like this taking place. And it happens all over the place. It's in the millions and millions and millions of dollars. Just recently, uh, county council voted to take almost $10 million worth of fire trucks out of the firehouses. I was just talking to somebody about that earlier this morning. And I would ask each and every one of you as I close, does that kind of decision make you and your family more or less safe? <laughs> and keep in mind, they chose to raise your taxes this year. So in fact, what they're doing is they're charging us more to make us less safe. And I'm not willing to be quiet about it anymore. I'm not willing to accept it. And that'll never happen to me as a representative of yours on Lexington County Council. So most importantly, I would ask you for your prayers. And if you live in my district, I need your vote and I need your support. Thank you. God bless.